Modulators 21 is a collection of Max for Life devices made to easily achieve unique modulations to control other parameters in your live set. In this video we're going to go over the basic functions common to all the devices and we'll take a look at how to properly set them up and running. In the next videos we're going to take a closer look at each device and its unique capabilities. First thing we need to know is how to load the device and assign a target to its modulation. Think of each of these devices as an audio effect. You can load them in any audio track or after any MIDI instrument in a MIDI track. Locate one in your browser and simply drag it onto the desired track. Now at this point, nothing has changed yet. This is because modulator devices are not affecting audio directly, rather are conceived to control parameters of other devices living inside the live set. In fact, the track where the device is located doesn't really matter, as modulators can engage with every other device without any limitation. So a modulator in one track can control a device in another one with no issue. To assign a parameter as a target for your modulator, click on the plus sign. The symbol lights up, meaning that the device is now ready for assignment. From this point, you can navigate throughout the whole live set and choose the parameter you wish to modulate simply by clicking on it. Once the parameter is locked in, its name is gonna show up in the target window. You can then adjust the range of the modulation signal by using the numbers located near the target indicator. This is useful if you want to contain or fine-tune your modulation so that it doesn't drive your parameter's value all over the place. You can also use Smooth to smoothen the modulation signal by milliseconds. This can be especially useful if you want to avoid the sudden jumps between values that might lead to clipping and discontinuities. If you wish to change the destination of your modulator, you can either reassign it by clicking on the plus sign as before, or remove the previous target by clicking on the X near the target name indicator. LFO and targets are also capable of controlling multiple targets at once, but the process is still the same for each one of them.